I want to give you an update on the Raleigh Greenway and what's going on out there. First of all, if you like to bicycle, roller skate, use a scooter, or just walk, the Raleigh Greenway is a great place to go do these activities and get some great relaxation. It is hooked up to most of the Raleigh parks, a lot of the Raleigh parks. It is a place where you can go to destinations. We have Greenway actually encircles the city. So uh, some of the parks like Umstead Park, it accesses there, it accesses the Art Museum, NC State University, a lot of different uh, places. And you can uh, download a map. I'll, I'll try to find that and put that in as a uh, link into the uh, comments down there. So I was out there yesterday. It was a beautiful day. The leaves are turning out there. It's a great time to be out because it's nice and cool. And the, the sites out there with the leaves turning are really great. And I did a run from Shelley Park uh, down to, uh, basically, I think I got all the way down to Meredith and went back. Uh, it was really great. There's some issues that are going on right now that uh, the one in particular I'm going to talk about is that last night I went to town hall meeting and they talked about a change that they, some, uh, uh, some construction on the south, just south of Shelley Lake, some construction that's going to be done there. And, and they're got a couple of options and they were laying those out for the citizens. I thought the meeting was really great because it, the information was there. People interested in it showed up. It was a, what I'd call a North Raleigh uh, town hall meeting. I thought uh, Mary Black actually did a pretty good job in there with, with uh, work with the city to put this up. And they discussed the project that they want to do. And there's a couple of options. One is to take that section there that goes over two bridges just south of, of on Mine Creek, just south of Shelley Lake. If, if you go down that path, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and go in and change that uh, on, in, in other words, replace the two bridges and go in there and, and chop down the trees and uh, basically straighten out that path there. Right now, it's it's really a little bit, it's dangerous in there, especially if you're taking a bicycle in there with pedestrians. You just can't see, you're, you're going around trees and uh, the bridges, I, I think, actually need to be replaced anyway. Or they just straighten the path out, keep it on the left side if you're heading south of Mine Creek and not have to put two bridges up. And there's no trees there, it, uh, very few trees, and they could just build that path st uh, straight on a little ways and go left. The problem is that there are folks who live in townhomes back there who aren't real happy about it. They showed up and they got an opportunity to give their viewpoint on it. Uh, but the, the other side of the coin, too, is that it's the projects, I can't remember what the numbers are, but it's in th hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, if they go on the side with the townhomes. But if they replace two bridges and take the trees out, we're talking about a project that's up in uh, multiple million. I think it was over $2 million. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it, it's basically 10 times uh, at least. And so uh, that was sort of hashed out. Of course, there's no decisions made in these meetings, but it, it was good for people to get their viewpoints up. And I think they were duly uh, noted by the city. And I thought it was really, really super good. One other item I want to talk about that I was really, really happy about is yesterday I ran into uh, one of Raleigh's finest out there. He was on a electric motorcycle, at least I think it's electric, 
a, a very good choice, I think, for the law enforcement to be using. Uh, it was very quiet, and I stopped him, got a picture, and he was very, very polite. I'm extremely glad to be seeing these folks out there. Uh, back when I was running for city council, I talked about this as being an issue of getting police out, out there. I never did see a policeman for a while, but they got them out there now. And so kudos to the city on that. I appreciate the fact that they're putting police officers out there. I hope that we can work on expanding the force, the police force in Raleigh, because right now they're severely understaffed. And I've talked about that in some other videos. So I really like these town hall meetings. Um, oh, one other item I want to mention is that uh, the, the other uh, point of discussion in that meeting was the Six Forks widening. And there were a number, number of different viewpoints on that. Hopefully, the city is going to proceed with at least part of that project. The problem with that project is that every time it gets delayed, property values are going up. And then the money allocated for the project's not enough. And they have to go back to the drawing board on that. And anytime you're going after, after federal money or uh, different types of, of funding of these projects, then you get into, it takes like a year to do it. And by then property values are going up again, or there's a new issue. And so I think that the city, they mapped out several options and I think they're narrowing down exactly how this is gonna have to go. One of the big issues in there for businesses that are along that corridor is that it's gonna take away some of their parking. So hopefully they're gonna use the solution that's going to minimize the impact on that. And it just may be the city's going to have to help these businesses out with the parking situation. Uh, not sure what those options might be, but we really need to get it done. I mean, it's been a long time since we've had that line of traffic from up there on Millbrook all the way down to North Hills. It's just been a regular fixture for years and we really need to get this widening done. So I, I applaud the city for really doing some work there and putting the solutions out in front of the citizens. And there was some real good discussion in there. So overall, I would say the meeting was a, a real good success as far as uh, getting the citizens uh, educated and getting some input from them back to the city. So this is Whitney, Whitney for Raleigh signing off. I appreciate you watching this video. If you would hit the subscribe so you can see more videos, I would appreciate that. And also, too, I want to hear back your comments uh, on these issues, and I will try to try to answer back to you on, on those comments. If you have questions or just your comments, I would appreciate that greatly. Definitely want to hear back from you. This is for Whitney for Raleigh signing off.